So this is the diamond painting peacock and this is what it looks like and I chose this project and what it how it comes is it actually it comes from China I believe and all the instructions are in Chinese or something I'm not sure because I cannot um, decipher what that is but this is the project I chose to do the diamond painting and it I didn't know exactly what to do because you get the beads which of course I've already opened mine and I'm holding it with this um, line clip close pin and um, because I thought that was the easiest way you just slit them open and then hold them closed and it kind of sits up like that so they don't fall over or anything and then it also comes with this tray to put it in and if you can see it has these little ridges it looks like a little boat and uh, hey after you're done you might throw it in the tub with your child and um, this here is um, it, it has these little ridges in there so it makes the beads separate and kind of face up but some of them face down and so you kinda have to keep shaking it a little bit but anyhow that's where you put your beads and it came also with um, this here little piece of pink thing which I don't know what it is but it seems kinda like waxy and mm, I'm not sure maybe waxy is the right kind of uh, word to use a soft wax color and also this here I'm gonna call it a stylus and I did not know how you use it because you know I can't read any of the instructions so when I looked at this immediately I saw there's a hole in there and maybe you put the beads through there and I was thinking perhaps with your finger you would just tap it and maybe they would come out and you'd be able to you know do something like that but that's not the case so I guess what you're supposed to do which I just tried it and it seemed to work as I took this here and of course there is um, some cellophane on this square piece of wax and so maybe you can peel it back but I didn't have to because I just took it from the edges so I scraped a little bit and it fit right into the bottom of this why can't I see where this is? Here it is. It fit into the bottom of the um, stylus pen and so that I found was easy to be able to place it in the tray and then pick up one of these and it picks it up so nicely because the rounded edge goes into the stylus and the flat edge is there so you can use it to place on your project and so it also comes with this here piece of cellophane and it's stuck onto this here um, and all the color of the peacock all the feather part and everything and right now you can see this is just shifting because I've already done mine so far that it cannot stick any longer but um, I'll just show you how it's done if I can find a spot here. Let me see. Right there. Oh, couldn't see it off camera. Okay, well, I'll do that again. Um, okay, so you just put it, and I do it up and down, but even though. And then you can press it in if you want to after you've placed it in. Um, usually what I do is after I've done a big section, I just take this here and I press it down, you know, to make it, um, you know, to make sure that they're all sticking and they're flat and everything so you don't lose them. So that's kind of what I've been doing as I go. After I do a little section, that's what I've done. And what I would say is that there's a lot of these type of diamond painting and it's really nice because it it glitters so beautifully and um, I'm gonna try to stand it up and show it 
so hard to fit it all in. I'd have to go really far back as I can. But it's better if I put it this way, because then you can see it. And even though it has writing on the sides of this, you know, you see your pattern guide all here and other writings, you can frame this so you can put the frame, you know, right here um, to have it go in as far as that. And then you would be able to hide any of this kind of stuff. You can cut this off if you want to because it's kind of a, um, um, almost like what painters use, the canvas. And, um, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. I don't know if I'm going to hang this or what I'm going to do with it. It's not really important to me to hang it up and for display anywhere. But um, I do have to say that it was very relaxing to do. I enjoyed doing it. In fact, I got it and in two days I finished it. it to me, it was very addicting. I started it and I just kept wanting to go, go, go with it. Start the next color, start the next color, get more finished and complete with it. And... Um, it sparkles so beautifully. I know you can have to see that. It's almost like a Christmas tree. And, um, you know, it's so beautiful. And so soon I'll have it finished because I only have these M's to complete and then it'll be finished. So, um, but yes, I think that as long as a child could be trusted, you know, with the tray and they don't knock and bump and all that like it, I've seen young children who are very wonderful and responsible and they're very cautious of all of their items that they need to use for a project and they don't spill and they're just wonderful um, really above their own age you know to actually work on certain things I would say that they can do this because it's so simple all it is is you you pick it up you pick up the bead you aim for where it goes and you just put it in so it's that simple it's not hard and um, you know I mean if they for some reason can't figure out where to where a bead goes or they do it you can pull it up but I wouldn't recommend doing that too many times because it will um, not stick after a while. Okay, so that's it for this video. And if you would like to uh, purchase this particular peacock um, diamond painting, I will leave.